Hello everyone, I'm Daryl, your Northern Vinyl Guy, and I'm back at you with another YouTube video. Uh, this is part two in my recent Vinyl Find series. Uh, if you'd like to check out my very first video, I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the section there. Um, so basically my first video that I had done was Canadian musicians that I had found at my most recent Vinyl Finds uh, while I was in Timmins, Ontario. Um, this one here is going to be a... 1960s, 1950s, 1960s um, finds. Always, you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Feel free to leave a like on this particular video. Go back and check out some of my other ones. And feel free to leave comments in the section below. If start off, we're going to head back to 1955 and a little bit of Frankie Lane here um, and his album Command Performance. It's not an album per se, this is more of a compilation. Um, and in reading some of this information on the back, it says that it looks like this was a compilation of songs that he performed while he was in the British Isles as part of a charity um, session. So I think that the, uh, the proceeds and stuff went to charity. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if you know more about this command performance, let me know. Um, as you can see, though, based on the... The ring wear and uh, the way that some of this is. Uh, the cover itself is kind of beat up, but the record itself, which is on Columbia, yeah, it's got some scratches and some scuffs, but nothing that uh, I think is going to be problematic on my particular player. Um, I do look forward to checking this out. I do have other Frankie Lane in my collection. Um, once again, as I was growing up, my dad and my grandfather were big fans of Frankie Lane and uh, I do have a bit of a story about uh, you know a cassette tape getting kind of caught in jammed in our uh, player in our vehicle while we were on summer vacation one time my mom is not a particular fan of Frankie Lane in particular especially if your cassette tape gets jammed it will not come out and that's all you're listening to for an eight hour road trip uh, if you want to know more about that my very first video that I did I kind of uh, or might be my second video songs and records that had an influence on my my life so check that out i will leave those in the link below as well all right record find number two from the songs on this are from 1961 a lot of them particularly the where have all the flowers gone this is the kingston trio this is a compilation from 19 i believe it's 1971 or 73 i believe it's 71 um, but it does have other songs of theirs, uh, Chilly Winds, The Long Black Rifle, try to remember, 500 Miles. Um, kind of cool, once again, really folky, uh, but I'm okay with that. It does not have their hit song, Tom Dooley, on this particular uh, record, but I do have some Kingston Trio in my collection behind me that does have that. All right, so a little bit of Kingston Trio here, um, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Um, this is on Pickwick and Capital, um, so the silver Pickwick label right there. All right, possibly one of my, I wouldn't say my favorite singers from the 1960s, but definitely ranks up there. I do like Dion and the Belmonts, um, and this is Dion and the Belmonts' greatest hits, so a compilation of all their great stuff. Uh, Teenager in Love, Run Around Sue, um, The Wanderer. These are all great tracks um, and kind of a cool, once again, it's got a little bit of a story behind the, the band here on the back. Uh, but what I find interesting is, is this particular copy, I did, like I said, I found it in, in Timmins, Ontario. Um, it does have a stamp on it saying that at one time this was the property of the Senator Hotel, uh, which is a hotel in downtown. Timmins still exists today. Um, so yeah, check it out. Dion's Greatest Hits. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any of his regular albums or their regular albums. I think that this compilation is all that I'm going to need unless I get those ones for a decent price. All right, next one up, uh, 1964. It's kind of a one-hit wonder. Uh, Paul and Paula with their song, Hey Paula. Hey, hey Paula, I want to marry you. Um, but yes, this is their Sing for Young Lovers album um and 
I'm not 100% sure about the remainder of the songs on this. Come Softly to Me, I know it was a song by the Fleetwoods. I believe it might be a cover, but I have not yet listened to this. Um, once again, I always find it cool. They've got these little background things um, as to, uh, you know, the history of the album or the group, whatever that might be. And this one is on the Phillips label. So once again, 1964, and this one's in pretty good shape uh, considering how old it is. All right, next up, we got a little bit of uh, Dusty Springfield, Stay A While, I Only Want To Be With You. Um, the main track from this one, of course, is Wishing and Hoping, um, and this one is also from 1964. It is on the Phillips label. Um, I would love to get a hold of some of her other stuff, though. Um, I am a fan, Dusty Springfield. Um, you know, kind of pop, folky, I don't know what you would call it. Um, but yeah, wishing and hoping. And then my last find, um, I couldn't find a specific date on this one, but I'm pretty sure based on on the backside of this particular album, but this is a compilation. The Best of Hawaii's Melodies. Uh, I know that it seems kind of weird that I would add this kind of a thing to my collection, uh, but I do like Hawaiian music, especially the older stuff uh, from the 50s and the 60s. I do have quite, uh, I wouldn't say quite a collection, but I do have uh, three or four, you know, vinyl records from this time period. Uh, this one here is on Waikiki Records uh, from the Waikiki Record Company. Um, very cool insert here. And, uh, you know, really cool label on the album itself. So, yeah, something I'm definitely going to have to check out once again. Um, I have not listened to most of these finds as I still have to clean them. I've only got a spin clean, so it does take me a little bit. Uh, plus, with my kids around, it, it does take me a little while to do this. But in the near future, uh, if you are interested in finding out whether I liked these these albums, whether I liked only particular songs, or if I thought they were good albums or good compilations, uh, feel free to leave me a comment in the section below. Um, as always, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please feel free to leave me a like and subscribe. Um, and we will see you on the next one. I will have a part three uh, of my recent vinyl finds coming up in a bit.